right, Sam. Uh, what's the the feeling been like inside the club since the uh, the rare defeat last yeah. weekend? Obviously, uh, disappointment on Monday. Um, not Tuesday, sorry. Um, but boys want to make amends for the weekend. Disappointing performance from us, and we, yeah, we're up against a good team this weekend. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a side that you know you know quite well. It's been a bit of a, 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 a I suppose, a bit of a feud over the last couple of years with with big games. What yeah. uh, what do Wasps bring to the game on Sunday? Um, obviously, they've got a lot of pace in the back three. Um, some good ball, ball carriers in the forwards. Um, so we need to you know match their physicality and go beyond that. Um, and just try not to give them too much ball because that's where they're, they're dangerous. So. The game on well last week, the, the, the defeat against Worcester. It was, I think it's the first time that you've you know, failed to. Well, you only scored five points, which is yeah. a, a rarity yeah. against you know the, the, the amount of points and tries you've been scoring as uh, you know a, a creative back. What was what was that like playing against that solid defence? Yeah, it was, it was strange. Like you say, we, we normally score for quite a few tries in the match, so um, we, were, we were making you know breaks, but we just weren't finishing them off. We, our, we weren't clinical at all. Um, our clear out was pretty poor. Uh, so there's quite a few things we've been we've been talking about this week to, to work on. And yeah, we'll look to put the practice this week. So, in a weird way, do sometimes defeats spur players on, and you know you yeah. want to wrong the rights? Yeah, I think it was probably a bit of a kick up the arse for the boys, and it's probably a good thing. Um, we've had a few uh, sloppy performances the last few weeks, and it's probably what we needed to go get get the boys in gear a bit. You know, a bit, bit of a wake up call because um, we've got some big games coming up, and obviously this weekend's massive. So, it is kind of the last few. Or the running, I suppose, at yeah. the end of the season. Obviously, the top four is the, the aim again. So, yeah. you know, what sort of things you have to do between now and then to make sure you're in those spots? Well, it's a bit of a cliche, but I suppose it all starts in working hard and training. We need to make sure our, our training is intense so that, um, you yeah, know, for the weekend we're, we're ready to go for that. Um, and we just, need, you know, we need to set up our physicality from the last few weeks. That's, that's always been big in our game. And that's, you know, one of the things we need to, need to notch up a bit. Just finally, you've got a few of uh, your, your England co- uh, colleagues back. Yeah. From uh, and and well, international colleagues, I'll say. What's it? What's it been like seeing those guys, um, especially the England four, playing together? Yeah, yeah it was really good. Like Hep said earlier, it's um, you know it's good to watch those guys all play together against Italy, and I thought they all, they all came on and played really well. So and you know to get to get a few tries from those boys and see them all celebrate together it was a real, real proud moment for the boys watching them. Fantastic. That's it for me.